I've been trying to figure out when to plant seeds. No matter how I count the days, it's still too early. We're only at February 5th right now. Our last frost is May 15th. It's still a little bit too early to keep things inside. So mini greenhouse, macro greenhouse, both are great ways to plant seeds. Winter sowing is a great way to grow flowers for your summer garden, and it's fast and easy and something to do in the winter time. Winter sowing seeds is basically providing the ideal conditions for the seeds to germinate when they are ready. I find that's often the hardest part about planting seeds indoors in the spring. From when you plant it, how many days does it take to germinate? And then how many days should it grow in a pot before you put it outside? How long do you have to harden it off for? But if I plant things outside, basically I don't have to worry about the timing. So winter sowing mimics what happens in nature, which is always the best approach for our gardens. We're gonna prepare some containers for winter sowing. A lot of people use milk jugs. That seems to be the most popular thing that I see. I'm using what I have around and I have these containers that we got pears and peaches in this summer. So they're great because they're clear plastic. You want something that's either clear or translucent that can let the light in. I'm gonna fill it up with a little bit of soil. So you're gonna sprinkle the seeds lightly on the top then you're gonna put just a little bit of soil on top and tamp it down. We're gonna close the lid and we're gonna label it so we remember what we planted in here. And then we're gonna put this outside. So it's gonna go outside into a sunny location that's gonna get some rain that isn't sheltered, but that isn't right out in the open in the middle of your yard. You don't want it anywhere that's gonna blow away. So what we're doing when we make these little mini greenhouses is similar to what happens in this greenhouse, even though they're exposed to the elements. So when it gets cold, it will get cold. It gets as cold on our maximum thermometer, I can see as minus 10 Celsius in this greenhouse. That would probably be in the middle of the night during a cold night with no sun. But then during the day when it heats up, when the sun coming in, I can see it's been as high as 30 degrees Celsius in here on a sunny day. So the same thing is gonna happen in this small container. Also important is the small container has holes in the bottom where it's going to be able to drain water, the same as this drains water just into the ground, and it has holes in the top. What this does is it protects as well from the elements. So the ground here and in here is protected from this snowfall so there's not ice on the surface where the seeds would have a hard time breaking through. There's not wind drying out the seedlings or drying out the seeds or moving the seeds around. They're in a protected environment that's going to allow them to germinate a little bit better. So this technique works really well for a lot of plants, but it works well especially for plants that need cold and moist stratification. Plants will wait until they've had a cold period before they germinate. This is mimicking our natural seasons. You've got a wet autumn period, then you've got a cold winter, and then you have spring where the temperatures are starting to warm up. You don't need to harden these plants off. So they're already germinated outside, growing outside. You may need to just let them adjust to the wind a little bit, but other than that, they should be pretty hardy and strong compared to a seedling that you grew in the house and nurtured under lights. Some perennial seeds that you may be growing uh, are plants that are native to our area, like milkweed and yarrow, joe pie weed, lupins, columbines, also things like echinacea, some herbs as well. Chives, I'm gonna do some winter savory some time. It works to do a lot of the sort of summer annual flowers. It's an easy way to grow a lot of them. Things like zinnias, anise hyssop, bachelor buttons, alyssum, calendula. These are seeds that often will self-seed in my garden, but I'm gonna grow them just in a more controlled environment here in then I can sort of determine where they should go in a better way. So here we are in our unheated greenhouse. Even though we just got a big dump of snow, you can see there's snow on the roof, snow on the sides. I just had to shovel a path to the door. The ground in here is still obviously not covered with snow. There's an opportunity to actually plant seeds. What we're doing here is we're just gonna plant them in the ground right now, and then they're gonna germinate when they're ready. I don't have to worry about how long it takes them to germinate. I don't have to worry about what temperature they're at. I don't have to worry about hardening them off. I'm just gonna put them in the ground and see what happens. It's been quite, quite cold lately. I just want a little layer of extra protection here. So I'm gonna fill in the rows with spinach seeds where it didn't quite come up as much as I would have liked it to. And I can see there's three rows here. And here I'm just planting it right in between where the seeds are. So even though the spinach is very small right now, I'm always amazed at how fast it grows once it gets going. Once the days get longer, the temperatures get warmer, it really, really takes off fast. 
So it goes from having just like two little leaves. It's got its cotyledons in its first set of leaves. Its second set of leaves are just starting. It'll like double in size in a week as soon as it starts growing. Spinach really likes the cold weather. Having it out like this is ideal for it. It'll actually grow better, I find, in a greenhouse like this in March than it will out in the garden. But once the weather gets warm, it stops growing as quickly.